Okay, this is just a little short uh, test video. Uh, before I do any work to uh, this uh, Harley Benton, it's uh, their uh, 450 uh, SC450 PT90 GT, blah, blah, blah. Basically, uh, I should say P90, not PT90 if I said that. Uh, P90 pickups, uh, single cutaway for the SC, the 450s, just whatever number they decide to do. And uh, the gold top, which, uh, quite frankly, when I bought this last June, it's now April 2020. I got it June of 2019, and uh, it was uh, 140 bucks or something like that. And uh, I've been playing it ever since. Haven't done any setup on it. Uh, uh, I don't do gigs anymore. Uh, haven't recorded with it, but uh, I've been playing it. Uh, uh, Unplugged and plugged in. Uh, usually play myself to sleep with it. Uh, recently, I bought, uh, I brought the um, Spider 2. I got an old, I don't know, 2005 or 6 or 7, something like that. Uh, Spider 2, I think it's uh, right before the Spider 3s came out. Uh, I picked this up on silk at uh, Guitar Center out in California when I was living out there for like 200 bucks out the door or something stupid. Anyhow, uh, it's typical old uh, 212, it's got a pair of Celestians in it, 7080s, but they're relabeled. Anyhow, this is about the guitar, not the amp. Uh, the amp I've got on um, some distortion with a little bit of delay, and uh, we'll run through that, then I'll do some clean tones. Let's uh, open things up. See the guitar, no dead spots. Uh, the intonation is out. I'm gonna fix fix that up. Um, many of the frets, uh, they leveled the frets, and then somebody just threw it on down the assembly line. I'm guessing China, Indonesia, wherever uh, this particular model's being made for Harley Benton. And uh, it, uh, it's it got some flat top and rough edges on the side of the, the fret wire. It hasn't stopped me, uh, just uh, help. It's just been putting bigger calluses on my fingers. Anyways, uh, the volumes and tones all dimed out on this thing. Uh, see, it came loaded with tens. These are the strings that showed up uh, wherever it shipped from. I think it was Germany, UK. Uh, I forget. Box is long gone. But came out of Tomans. They're out of Germany. And I believe that they loaded Diodarios on this. And um, not much to complain about, really. There's things that I want to take care of, like uh, this screw is a little high. I'm going to do another video, tear this thing apart, and uh, get all the specs on it. Uh, the action is... Uh, mm, gosh, it's, it's up there. Uh, the neck relief is about... About right. And the, the nut, I believe the cut on the nut is right about where it should be. But the action's a bit high. So uh, I'll drop the uh, ABR-1 clone bridge down a bit. And uh, when I'm setting the intonation and all the rest of that. And the pickups are quite low. Uh, about a quarter of an inch. And they should be maybe about an eighth or so. But... Uh, I'll play with that and see how it goes. Anyways, this is the sound of it. That's the uh, bridge. Both. Both. And that is neck. And uh, let's see. Roll back some tone. All right. This is neck. Mm -hmm. 
Love P90s. Just gotta love P90s. These are the uh, uh, Roswell, I believe it is. And uh, not a bad sounding pickup, in my opinion. Okay, let's go bridge. With that, zero it out on the tone. Ooh, sloppy. Doing little short runs like that, uh, I can feel those uh, those rough edges on the frets. Yeah, I'll get to filing those down. Also, there's uh, it doesn't have sprout, but they uh, they also didn't uh, take care of any of the corners. Uh, real real light knockdown when they finished it. I'm just gonna round them out a little bit. I got uh, got some tools. Gonna be getting some more tools because I haven't had uh, luthier tools in a long time. Okay, uh, tone rolled all the way back both pickups. up at all. Just picked the guitar and started playing. Oh well, at least I got something captured. And uh, this thing's probably just going to get faster uh, as I get it a little bit better tuned up. I should be around probably five or seven sixty fourths, and uh, I'm seeing better than an eighth of an inch. I don't have a measuring tool here. When I do the uh, the, the teardown video, I'll get all the specs on this thing. But uh, yeah, the action's pretty high on this. Mm -hmm. But seeing as it's only got a set of 10s, 10 to 46, I guess it is, uh, I ain't too worried about it. If I was running 12 or 13s on it, it'd probably be busting my fingers. But uh, that's that. Okay, now just some clean tones. That should be clean. Guess there's still some delay on that, but it gets the crunch out of it. Okay, that is tone and volume all dimed out. Bridge, both. So overall, not a bad, bad sounding guitar, especially $440. Thanks for uh, watching this. I'll probably edit the hell out of it and just put in the essential stuff. That, uh, ooh, that changed the lighting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
we'll see how much of this ends up on the uh, cutting room floor and uh, move on to the next one. Uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe, like, and uh, uh, comment, and uh, tell me whether it sucks or whether it doesn't suck. Uh, if it's good, you're welcome. If it sucks, I'm very sorry. I shouldn't do that. I just stole that from uh, old uh, Fluff over there at uh, uh, whatever it is. Beards, guitars, and gear. He does that. Anyhow, enough of that. Let's uh, see what it goes to edit. Thank you.